What's your top story of the day? I would say just the way that uh, corrupt politicians have sold out, completely sold us out, sold out transferring all rights with all these uh, trade agreements in the last few years, transferring all rights from humans to the private sector, to corporations, to capital. What's your top story? My top story is pretty much everyone else's, Tibet. But I think people must look more into what's the connection between the conflict in Darfur and China. Because I think many people just focus on uh, human rights violations in Tibet, but not making this link with what's happening in Darfur. And it's Chinese oil behind that conflict. What's your top story of the day? I have really no idea. I think people need to be aware about how much they consume and just be mindful of uh, that there's too many people wanting too much. People need to educate themselves, just to be more aware. I'm not sure how that happens, but let's hope for the best. My top story right now, I think, would have to be every morning I walk to work and I live on about 12th. Usually I'm just kind of sad of seeing probably about the, you know, age range like 16 to 24 very young girls with the big men that pull them down the corner shooting up heroin beside the max every single morning. <laughs> People, you know, they make such a big concern about wanting to clean up the streets and picking up the litters, but they should probably be helping those young children with their drug addictions more so than putting in more garbage cans. <laughs> I've been working along here for a long time, many years, okay, and you're doing something about smoking, but there's a big crack dealing, cracker use problem. They don't, they don't even hide it, you know? They just, hey, so what's going on? What's your top story? Uh, I think genetically modified foods are something that uh, we're rather ill-informed on. Uh, I think it's about 79% of BC citizens want uh, mandatory labeling on genetically modified food and it's just not happening and I'm sort of curious as to why. A lot of food has been tampered with in ways that we're not really sure what it's going to do and uh, I don't know, they sound potentially hazardous to me so I'd like some labeling. I would think it would have to be uh, the environment and in particular um, local food and learning to, to eat local food and um, just really figuring out where your food comes from and, and what the impact of what you're eating has on, on the planet and the environment. The food that we eat and the air that we breathe and the water that we now have to pay for uh, more than some sugar drinks, that's that's got a direct effect on this. <laughs> Louis Black said it best. When I, was, when I was a little kid, you could get water anywhere. You, you didn't even have to get into the house to get water. It came out of a hose out of the wall. Now, like our ancestors, we got to go look for water and fetch it back. There's another story. It's, it's a little thing, but it's important. Magpie has just been here for like 14 years or something is going out of business because this entire neighborhood years ago was targeted to be the next gas town. What's my top story? The gentrification of commercial drive. What is that? What does that mean? Uh, just watching the cultural and demographic shift of this place over a couple of years and um, watching it slide towards the, the middle of the road and uh, cultural mediocrity. What's your top story? Well, I think the housing uh, shortage and the price of housing in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. I have a studio apartment I just moved into two weeks ago. It's $800 a month and it's a dump. <laughs> What's your top story? Uh, to me it would be the fact that Vancouver in terms of real estate is a lot different than the U.S. and also parts of Canada. You see that they've things have been reducing everywhere and it hasn't really hit us yet. Vancouver is more of a destination. Often people, they come here to retire or because of the lifestyle and the weather. What's your top story? Top story? Right now it would be homelessness in Vancouver and the uh, ongoing trend of the provincial government to uh, deny people with uh, affordable social housing. What's your top story today? Um, that we're having a fashion show at Riot this Thursday at 8 o'clock so everyone should come and it's going to be awesome and it's a social suicide if you don't show up. What's your top story? Um, 
with the lack of cable, I don't really have, I'm not up to date with anything that's happening. <laughs> My top story is a, is a book called The Creature from Jekyll Island. It's a book on the uh, monetary system and uh, takes a very complex matter and presents it in, in a way that's very understandable and easy for everyone to uh, appreciate and make sense out of it and uh, recommend it to everyone. Become educated and uh, yeah, follow your heart. Uh, don't buy into the uh, into mainstream propaganda and uh, saying that you have to do this, do this, do this, do this, or else this will happen to you. If you're concerned about uh, all this uh, this war and so forth, uh, one thing you can do is uh, become a natural person and uh, stop feeding the machine. Well, that's our show for today. Thanks for watching. This was mytopstory.com for April 16th, 2008.